In this video, we're going to look at using Elastic Audio for pitch transposition. Aside from time compression and expansion capabilities, Elastic Audio also offers the ability to change the pitch of an audio clip. The transposition range is plus or minus two octaves. There are two windows that can be used to apply the Elastic Audio pitch transposition. The first is to use the Elastic Properties window. Here I've got a simple session with three tracks. The first is a drum track. The second is a bass in E minor. And the third is a lead line in F minor. Here I'll use the Elastic Properties window to transpose the lead line from F minor down to E minor. To do this, I simply select the clips, right click, and choose Elastic Properties. Then in the Elastic Properties window, I can go into the Pitch Shift field and either type in minus one or simply press the down arrow. And now you can hear the transpose lead line. I can also use the standard Pro Tools transpose window to apply elastic audio pitch transposition. With the clip selected, I'll go to the event menu, event operations, transpose. And again, I'll transpose down by one semitone and then click the apply button. To modify or undo the pitch transposition, simply select the desired clips, open Elastic Properties, and then set the pitch shift to zero. Note that using Elastic Audio for pitch transposition is completely non-destructive, so you can quickly undo the pitch transposition and return to the original audio file. As you can see, using Elastic Audio pitch transposition is a very efficient workflow for transposing clips from your music loop library.